Welcome back folks, Five Minute Friday. Love this one. It's never gonna be five minutes, we all know that, but I'm gonna give it my best. I kind of, I aim for five minutes, but really in my head I'm just thinking I'll try and make it a bit more bite-sized than some of my like epic videos that I, I produce. Um, you'd think they're a bit quicker to like edit and stuff, but they seem to take just as long somehow. It's like, that's the longest bit of this whole process. Remember, the five minutes doesn't start till press the button on the stopwatch and I have actually got the stopwatch out tonight, I've got my phone on uh, ready to press the button on it. So I might get the pressure might get to me and I might make a mistake on this one. Uh, we'll see if we can bang it out in one take or not. Right, today's video is going to be, you're going to press the button now, right? Because it's starting now I think. We've gone, it's going to be on two words, serene and ideas and how they fit in with the sliding x belay method. And if you've got any knowledge of those two things, you might already be thinking, how on earth do they fit together? Uh, well, some kind of tangential idea going on in my head. Uh, I write loads of ideas down, and this one kind of just jumped out at me um, when I was thinking about what to do today. So here we go. Serene, solid, equalized, redundant, efficient, no extension. All right, that's the words that stands for. Ideas. Independent, directional, equalized, angle, and solid. So these are two ways of teaching the principles of setting up a belay, right? So when you're, you're doing using your sling, your rope, whatever, it gives a good framework for a, you know someone who's learning these ideas, get it? Right? Uh, to to build their belay and, and sort of just mentally tick off if they if they've uh, sort of done each of those points when they've set their belay up, so they can sort of double check it. Um, whether you use these for teaching or not is entirely up to you because I don't, right? I use three different words for this, for the, actually setting up the belay itself. I just use the words independent, equalized, and angle, right? And that works for me. There's other kind of sets of bullet points I use. I find that people remember sort of three points really well. So I, I like to use that. In those uh, other two ideas we've just mentioned, there's the word solid in them, and that refers to the anchors, so solid anchors. Well, I actually use three bullet points for that as well, and I kind of treat that, yeah, of course it all flows in together, but I kind of treat that as a little bit separate. So when I'm placing gear, I'm looking at contact, I'm looking at direction of pull, and what's the most important one? That the rock is solid in the, f in the first place. If you don't get solid rock, you can't kind of pass go, can you? So that's three bullet points there. Uh, A, B, C anchors, belay, and climber. That's the whole directional element of it, isn't it? So although I only use three bullet points, maybe I've got other three bullet points, but as bite-sized chunks, they work for me when I'm teaching, right? And you have to find what works for you. And by having these uh, different systems in your proverbial toolbox, it means that if you're uh, your client isn't understanding one method particularly, it's not clicking with it, well, that's right, you can try a different method, okay? You tend to buy into what you like, uh, and that'll probably work for you to so just go and practice it really, but that, that's a really good framework for anyone who's just trying to learn the principles of setting up belays. But, importantly, how does that fit in with the sliding X, right? If you don't know what the sliding X is, you're about to learn, which is great. I love learning, it's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, I get my sling, I clip him into the carabiner up top, I do him up, keep that join out of the way, same as always. I clip the other end into my second point, and I'm just going to use two points for this one. Now normally we would do like a, a PowerPoint knot there, wouldn't we, an overhand or something, but today we're not going to do that, we're going to get that sling, we're going to cross one strand like that, and we're going to clip into it. Oof, that's quick, done, alright. Could be the quickest belay you're ever set up. Not really, is it? you might have a single point or something, but it's pretty quick. All right. I've been watching my YouTube videos on one handed cloviches, so I've smashed that in there. Great. There you go. Well, that's me done and dusted. I'll shout down safe to my mate. Am I done and dusted though? Remember my three bullet points independent, equalised, and angle. Well, I've created an angle. It is equalised, so equalised means both strands are loaded and sharing the load there. But are they independent? Well, no they're not, are they? So I've only got three points to tick off on my little set of bullet points, and I've, I've messed up one of them, haven't I? You know, just to highlight that, imagine I'm here now, and that anchor explodes. 
shocked that bit of gear, hasn't it? So imagine that's a, a nut or a cam up there. That's going to be pretty exciting, really, isn't it? And, and not in a good way. Uh, so is that a good thing to do? Maybe, maybe not. What could we do to change it and improve it? Well, one version you'll see of the sliding X involves limiter knots, right? So that's just a couple of overhands. Put one in there, estimate where the other will be part there. We can adjust these in a second because they're overhands. We tie, sorry, we clip it back into there. And then we do exactly the same, right? We can just do a little cross there so it's keeping the same idea as the sliding X. But it's got these limiter knots, so I'm smashing Maklovich again. Do them up. Shout down safe, jobs are good. And so have I improved on my three bullet points? Angle, equalized, are they independent? No, they're not independent still, are they? Because, let's just demonstrate that again, you know what's gonna happen. If that anchor does explode, bang. It's not quite as big a bang as the first one. We have limited it by having those limiter knots in there, but it's still some shock going through. And in the serene one, the final point being no extension. That's what that's talking about. The B layer is extending and putting extra shock onto one of the bits of gear, right? So, is it any good? What's the point of looking at it? Do I like it? Uh, the sliding X, mm, no, I don't particularly like it. It's all right, it, it does something. Do I like this version? Well, it's definitely an improvement, isn't it? Do I do it a lot? No, I don't, um, really. So what's the point in learning it? Well, it's great to have all these ideas in your, in your toolbox, isn't it, that you can kind of uh, bring out and use. And partly that's, uh, for your own benefit, but also it's like if you see someone doing it at the crag Then at least you've got the knowledge to understand sort of why they might be doing it and what's going on and I don't mean that in a sense of interfering with what they're doing but It's just nice to know what's going on when you see things or if you climb with someone you haven't climbed with before and they set that up You can know the pros and cons can't you? So I said do I ever use it? Well, no, not really. I mean I'm based in the UK in sunny North Wales and we're, we're mostly talking about uh, you know, trad belays when we're multi-pitching, right? Now there is a case when I might use it, not on the belay. See if you can put in the comments below if you can work out what that might be. Um, usually the, the sliding X without the limiter knots, just the, the normal version. So when might I use it? Because I have used it. Well, I'm talking about stuff abroad really, where you've got like bolted belays or uh, you know, maybe you've gone to the Dolomites and they've got uh, pittons like cemented in, and then you turn up to each belay and they're, they're roughly in the same sort of place, roughly the same sort of distance from each other. Uh, and you can just have this on the back of your harness and go clip, clip, done, clip, clip, done. Each time, bang, guide mode uh, go in there as well. And you've got a pretty quick and efficient system. So would I do it? Yes. But it's pretty niche because actually a lot of the time when you're on those kind of belays, the, the bolts already linked by a chain or a bit of tat or something so then I'd probably use a different method anyway so that's a different video um, so I don't like to say I'd never use it right because I have used it do I use it regularly no I don't I mean imagine climbing in North Wales do you get to every belay and have two anchors really close together like this you do sometimes, of course you do, but it's not a regular thing. Often you're using the rope and the wider anchors and it's trad, so often you're using three anchors and da 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 So you can do similar things with three anchors, for sure you can. It's just easier to show you on two points. So there we go. I think that's it. Let's see what the scores are on the phone. It's gone off 8.22. I'm pretty flipping happy with that. 8 minutes 22. It's not five minutes, but, uh, you know, it's a lot shorter than normal videos of mine, isn't it? Uh, so I'll take that, I'm happy with that win. Um, do click the like button if you've liked it, smash that subscribe button, you know the score. Uh, find us on Insta, find us on Facebook, and it's worth following us on those as well because you do get some extra little bits and pieces that, I, that never make it to YouTube. So yesterday I put a short video on, on some cam extending action uh, on there. So it's worth it, find us on there, that's much appreciated. Remember, in the comments, see if you can put in that little thing about where I might use a sliding X on a trad route. Again, not commonly, but sometimes. Uh, and fire away with any questions as always. Hope you've enjoyed the video. More videos coming up very soon.